friends, my YouTube friends. I'm going live on YouTube way more often. Try to reach the YouTube crowd. Yes, I'm wearing actual color today. <laughs> I think that's the first thing that most people are going to comment on is the fact that I actually have some color on today. So happy Tuesday for those people who are out there in the world. Uh, I hope to get some people in the chat today i know it's a little bit earlier than usual almost eight o'clock probably wrap up at about 8 30. there are other live shows that are going on other people that have booked times throughout the week it's hard to get in and do lives when many of my friends are also going live and doing content at the same time so i'm trying to be respectful of them today as the title implies i want to talk about some new products that i just saw released in the news a couple of people have them in their articles i assume the news has been out for a little while so what i'm going to do is actually use my phone to show you on stream what i'm talking about so while we let a few people join in in the chat we can talk about things in the chat room i'm going to call up some photos that i saw and i'm going to show you what they are through my phone this is the only way i can do it live in vertical format unless like if i was at my computer then I can use a, sh a share screen or that kind of feature. And this way I don't have the opportunity to share screen. Uh, so anyways, the first bit of news that I wanna mention is uh, an incredible shout out and uh, kudos to Acora Acoustics, who makes some of the world's finest speakers that are made out of granite and using the top of the line drivers as well as components they are going to be bringing this magnificent creation to expona this is an amethyst or solid I'm unplug this phone solid amethyst um speaker it is actually glowing from inside so it's not actually that vivid purple but it is glowing from inside so this is actually being lit up from inside the cabinet I've never seen anything like it before. I've seen it maybe in like um, uh, specially made or bespoke made countertops, uh, some epoxy uh, coffee tables, certain projects that have had, uh, you know, that are usually in home decoration or home interior sort of design. These from Accor Acoustics are going to be at the Expona show I am 100% you will see a lot of these. These are probably the best looking speakers you will see in all of 2024, in my opinion anyways. Um, solid Amethyst made by Accor Acoustics. These were shown recently on their YouTube channel as well as on their Facebook pages just recently. I'm more than likely going to share it on my own Instagram Reels. So these are the first speakers that I wanted to talk about today that are new, that are exciting. They were always really good performers for a bookshelf speaker. I don't know the prices of these. The originals are about 19,000 US. Uh, it is a bookshelf. I believe the stands are included in that. I'm not really sure. Uh, top of the line scan speed drivers, uh, bespoke crossover units that are designed and made in-house. All of the cabinets are made and assembled in Canada. So they are Canadian made uh, company and product nothing is made outside of canada obviously speakers weigh an absolute ton not literally but figuratively if they're solid amethyst or solid granite these speakers would be incredibly heavy and hard to ship around um, so product coming from anywhere else have a high likelihood of damage where if everything is coming from and assembled in canada then it has less chance of being damaged from being in the continental north america so a core acoustics i think these are the rm rm is it rmb r something like that gem g g e m is the uh tag on the end of it i don't remember exactly what it what the name was uh also beware of images like this of the eclipse this is absolutely bullshit. the sun was nowhere near this position the angle and position of this structure as well as where this this in the sky is this is absolutely not true uh please don't fall for this fake shit online people are just looking for your attention and it's not real uh so to the to the winners of the day the other point that i want to make is the source point eight 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 
these are an 8 inch woofer 8 inch woofer 8 inch mid-range with a 1.15 inch dome tweeter coaxial co concentric coincident whichever driver type that andrew jones wants to talk about these are brand new um <laughs> say oh ass man how's it going bro daniel's here welcome thank you thank you and for the 13 other people that are watching if you're watching on a tv try to hit the thumbs up button um i found out that 39 percent of my audience watches on a tv that's fantastic i love the fact that you're watching on another device but some of the interactions are important so if you can figure out how to press the like button on a tv or subscribe while you're on a tv that would be cool too uh vels here looks like looks like candy oh the uh, the amethyst ones i am in fact watching on my tv yeah my analytics tell me that a lot of people 39 percent are watching on the tv uh also yes multitasking which i totally understand i don't expect people to be 100 percent paying attention to me i'm not that narcissistic <laughs> uh so these are the source point 888 and there are other colors so if you forgive me and i can just look them up i had them in my tabs here so this is from the mofi website there's there they are in black very uniform yes I am trying to hide like raptors in the bushes. This is this is my new my new jungle jam. <laughs> it's not a jungle gym. My name's not Jungle Jim. It's I'm in I'm trying to support a jungle jam. Cool. <laughs> oh, so watching on the TV and chatting via the phone. So it's actually two streams that are open. That's awesome. I appreciate that. That's cool. Um, so yeah. There's the source, source point 888s. They do come in different colors. So let me show you the walnut. There you go. So please also, if this is probably one of the first, if not only stream or live or showcase of the source point 888s on YouTube, I checked before I did this live. So if you can, please share this video with your friends because nobody else is actually talking about them on YouTube except for me because I'm a winner. <laughs> no, not really. I just... Uh, I'm sharing something that's new to me, something I'm excited about, uh, something that's written in articles online, sharing on Facebook, but nothing really talked about on YouTube. So as a community member, as a media person, I'm trying to fill in the gap. So if other people are doing advertisement in Facebook and they've done magazine articles, I'm going to do the next thing, which is bring it to YouTube. So there you go. So there's the walnut finish, natural walnut finish with a white grill. <laughs> True Voice of Reason says, Jungle Jim, where's Jungle Pam? Drag race reference. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen that. Val might have seen that. I don't, I know what it's about, what it's related to. What can I say? I'm, I'm, I have, my chromosomes came out a certain way and that's all I got to say. And that rhymes and I meant it to. So there's the walnut. You guys are trying to get me canceled. I'll show you. I'll show you the holes on my backside. Said the MoFi source point eight eight eight. Um, yeah. So upper port, lower port separates the cabinets from each other. Probably not vented mid range. I'm not entirely sure that that's the truth. They are a three way design. I will show you their in their their glamour shot <laughs> daniel's laughing true voice of reason retra retracted a message did you take the message back or did youtube automatically bring that take that message out of here i should have turned off the restrict chat but there they are in black I think they look very uniform in black. I mean, it's very easy to do that because, okay, so here's the thing. Uh, a lot of speaker drivers, if you will see, they're made with black rubber surround, black clone mater clone, bleh, cone material, tweeter material, black hardware. Um, so everything ends up being uniformed in black. Otherwise, the contrast materials are different. So if you see them in this color the satin black baffle matches the black hardware and black cones of the cabinet however you can get it with the grills in which case 
almost all of it is uniform color. So the problem is you can't get these materials in white, like the white, you can't get a white cone or white tweeters or white basket. For whatever reason, these types of pieces of hardware are hard to keep into a light color. You might be able to do brushed aluminum, but white cone material, white dome tweeters, white hardware, it's not as common. So I don't know if all of these things can be colored white, but if they did, it would be more expensive one because they'd have to special order it for a low number of orders. But that's what it is. Um, anybody wants to see the specs? This is from the MoFi website directly. So here's the specs. You guys can copy it down. I don't know if it's backwards. I think it looks backwards to me. Anyways, it is all on the MoFi site. Uh, I'll read it off to you if you want to. If you want to hear it. So the configuration is specification frequency range 32 hertz to 30,000, six ohms, or 4.5 minimum, which is where the base notes hit. So make sure it's four ohm stable. Um, I'm, should I be uh, cisgender male like drag race to there was a wedding episode very sweet okay this is a conversation going on within a conversation uh, shout out to fat fingers stan <laughs> okay that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about so the retraction was just bad typing okay got it uh, 87 db sensitivity crossovers are 130 hertz to the woofers which is which means the upper woofer mid-range is covering from 130 hertz to 1.6 kilohertz that's pretty good for an eight inch driver so the tweeter is handling from 1.6 up to 30. um tweeter is actually 1.25 inches so it's one and a quarter inches says uh, true voice of reason says my initial thought when this popped up is 888 good thing they weren't 666 <laughs> you know they would never do that unless they released a model that's all red and black and they made it available on halloween um a lot of people that that's why they don't have you know i think what did they skip the iphone 13 did they have an iphone 13 or why most buildings don't have a floor 13 there's just there's less people that would uh want something in that number right like there you go see we are into it because we're weird we're like a weird crowd but when you want to look at statistics most of the audience out there wouldn't want something that's numbered with a 13 or in some cultures number four you won't see models in asia with the number four they don't make a four there was a Lumina 1, Lumina 2. So somebody just wrote something that was held for review. I'm going to view what it is. Okay, so Vel, you can't swear, otherwise they're going to hold it. So instead of using the full word spelled out, type something else. Yeah, so... Another moderator just handled this. Oh, anyways, yeah, it's it's YouTube. I made the comment strict, so you're gonna get held for any exactly. We're not free adults here. This is still a platform owned by people that sell advertising. You have to respect that thought. You have to know where you stand. <laughs> so eight inch paper woofers, uh, two inch, two eight inch paper cone whoop yeah so eight inch mid-range with the tweeter in the middle and then uh let me see david cole slick is here good evening what's going on welcome welcome i'm gonna try to get out of here before andy goes live at 8 30 that's why i'm doing it now instead of later on <laughs> i respect andy i know he's got shit going on his schedule's at 8 30 so we're gonna bounce everybody here is gonna bounce and go check out living loud with andy at 8 30. um true voice of reason says 1.25 down to 1.2k no no it's 1.6 the tweeter goes down to 1.6k and the, the woofer goes up to 1.6 daniel says so waiting no cursing <laughs> i don't know the rules i only seem to know when i break them yeah well the rules are written down if we choose to look them up and read them that's why police uh, police 
officers will say that ignorance is no excuse for the law because as a citizen we're supposed to know and read the laws just saying that's the that's a fact we're we're responsible for knowing where we are and doing as suggested shouldn't be a surprise uh three-way vented box concentric driver satin black uh real wood walnut black ash and white you see it in white even though it doesn't say white available into the in the cabinet finish it says satin black painted baffle satin satin real wood walnut or black ash but it doesn't say white 97 pounds S so i mean correct me if i'm wrong but that looks like a white finish right but it doesn't say on the website so there's a qc problem someone needs to proofread their website um so a really interesting feature about these cabinets not a lot of people talk about is they are actually angled towards the back of the the cabinet you can't really see it there but there's a little bit of an angle halfway across the cabinet where the back is a slightly more narrow than the front. I'm getting all kinds of notices on here. Like, look at this. Look at this notification tree. People loving the stuff. I did just put a reel on my my Instagram for this product. I think I like it. Yeah. So there you go. And a lot of people are on top of it already so there we go there's the there's what i wanted to talk about the rest of the video i'll go around my room and talk about some stuff we're at 16 minutes and i have another 20 before 8 30 and i gotta go so source point 888 will be at expona in the room showcase i think andrew jones will be there to talk about the product later on and that'll be awesome so let me catch up with you guys in the chat here everybody's saying hello to each other i love it what's up daniel they don't follow to the letter of the law either. It's convenient for them. Neither do these platforms. So I dif disagree off topic. Yes, well, that's important because as citizens who are following up with these things, we have responsibilities as citizens to hold them accountable too. But it doesn't include complaining about it when we're online. It means writing letters and writing emails and starting petitions. Feeding, it ba feeding back into the platform with complaining isn't really doing much of a justice. Um, I think I just triggered Vel into the, all the other issues. <laughs> yeah, we can move on from that. So anyways, in the room, you guys, I'm going to flip my camera. Um, I figured out a couple of things that in the room I've changed. I changed the orientation of the katanas on the floor. Uh, Daniel says now they have the 888. What's next? To one zero one zero one zero like as in digital what is that in binary someone tell me what that number is in binary i'll look it up real quick so i know the answer <laughs> i think that that's um i think that could be 15 in a digital number uh 85 actually i answered it myself <laughs> Um, same on Insta, move on. Yes, exactly. I know. I know what it is. There's, there's all kinds of, there's all kinds of like two faced trickery that's going on with the platforms and it's up to us to hold them accountable. Yep. Uh, now they, yeah. So the 10, 10, 10, I don't think so. It'll probably be 10 cubed, like 10 to the three. But I don't know that they're going to do that, mainly because here's why. If they're going to turn the 10 into a three-way tower, I think that the frequency crossover with the, the mid-range and the size of the cone, which is why they did it in an 8-inch tower, also the thick, the width of the tower, it may be... Um, it may be easier to do the eight, you know what I mean, with the frequency crossover point, rather than, see, here's what I'm going to say. I would rather say, okay, so say, say this is the tower, like this is the MoFi tower. I would rather see uh, a 12-inch subwoofer 
with the same style boxes. What do you guys say to that? So if, instead of having the towers, which have like two eight inch woofers and then the coaxial tweeter. So say that that's, you know, minus this woofer here. I'm, look at my handwork. That's fucking good job, bud. <laughs> I can say the word fuck, but you can't write it in the chat. Hilarious. I love you, YouTube. Pay me. Um, if they had the towers here, imagine you had the source point eights, which are the woofer tweeter, but you had a 12 inch sub that looked like the same cabinet, like the source point 10, but larger without the tweeter in it, right? Yeah. How about how hilarious is that? My chat can't write the word out in full wor full words and letters. Otherwise, the algorithm will catch them. But I can say the word fuck no problem and they don't do anything about me. That goes to show you how inconsistent these platforms really are. By the way, cheers. Everybody have a drink. Half-hearted gesture. Aww. Audio sign language influenced by Italians. Hey, that's a matter for you. <laughs> I bet you could spell out Fafangulo in the, in the chat and YouTube would not have any idea what to do with it. Try it. Let's see what happens. Imagine you just cursing in Ukrainian or Russian and then YouTube's like, oh my God, what do I do? How about eight with a 15 inch instead of an eight or 12? 15 inch MoFi subwoofer, same design. Yeah, that's pretty large. I don't know that Andrew Jones has got a lot of experience designing subwoofers. I mean, think about why he's at MoFi. He's there to design speakers. And, um, you know, they went from 10 to 8. Now they 8 tower. Um, I think he's doing a pretty good job. But, yeah, I, I, I mean, we have to remember, yes, I think the 8s could be used in a home theater. Um, <laughs> you, that's funny, the screen name. Of course. I mean, you know what it is. No fungus? No? No? What about pengus? Can we use pengus? My my whole room basically looks like a, a penguin's butthole. No, I'm just kidding. No, it doesn't. I'm insulting my own room here, people. <laughs> Excuse my camera movement. So I'll have a look around the room. I don't know if David's still here. David probably didn't get to see the room yesterday. Um, I did move the katanas. Um, zooming in with YouTube sucks. So if I change the view, it's just going to go all weird so i'm not going to change that but you see how i have the handle to the inside uh it was also gabba gabba ghoul gabba ghoul sandwich at one time that's really funny drag name <laughs> when you do drag do you dress as a dude how does that work and then i turned this this katana the other direction basically because symmetry so your audio room is an igloo. Yes. Well, it makes sense. I am a Canadian. <laughs> Except I don't look anything like Fidel Castro. Um, you guys get that joke. Uh, yeah. So I moved, I, I moved and turned the handle inwards. So that way this shadow across here matches this shadow across there. Although right now they're not in the same position. The shadow's a little higher than this one, which means I can probably push that blade back or I can change the position of my lights. The The way that I make them symmetrical is, can we see the, the shadow on the ceiling there? So we see how the number of holes on the side, this one's one, two, and like two and a half. And then this one's one, two, three, four, basically at five and then six. So on this side, it would be basically the same thing. We have one but this is actually two and almost three so it's bigger and then one two three four five the edge of the cabinet is different and then six which is similar but not quite the same so either two things are true the lights are in a different position or the eyelets of the curtains are in different positions on the ceiling but that's one way that i can use other things in my room to line up things as symmetrical. So I actually think that these lights need to be moved. Um, another point of interest, True Voice of Reason says, cool, cool, man. It is cool because it's an igloo. Um, the Orchard Audio Amp is still not plugged in. I did get the XLR cables yesterday. 
but I didn't plug it into the system. I'm still sort of waiting on that. Um, I don't know, call me nervous. It's like changing my system up right now. Like I have these speakers on sale and I have everything else in the system on sale. The Rotel is on sale. You guys know this amp is only RCA only. Let me see if I can get a extended look over the back of the amp. And so that's only RCA only. And the preamp is on this side, which is why I needed longer XLRs. So to plug into the, the Orchard Audio amplifier, I needed the XLRs. And now what I have to do is just bring them along the bottom of the wall here, behind the speaker, behind the curtain, and then out behind this one. Then I can mount the Orchard Audio basically on top for now. Turn this one off. Change the speaker cables. The only issue now is that will be single amped instead of bi amped. Right now, this is bi amped. I'm using two cables because this is a five channel amp. So I'll have to um, change the binding posts, uh, put the jumpers back in, connect the Orchard Audio um, amp, which is only single outputs, um, and then follow all the instructions that Leo included because. In order to secure, like, so this is a thing, and I'm going to mention this and talk about it in the last little while of this video. Um, online reviewers have been getting in shit for either measuring or talking about products the wrong way, and then companies have been bringing up litigation or suing them for saying stuff about their products. And I just want to say, what's the uh, what's the term? RTFM. You guys know what RTFM is. Do you, does anybody want to write it in? Fill out for the F in the chat if you want to write it out. But RTFM, do you understand? Do users these days actually do that? Because it's important. You have to read the information that was given to you by the manufacturers in order to set up and use things properly. There are warnings in the damn literature. RTFM says... Notes, do not make or break connection to the amplifier while it is on. It says, due to the bridged amplifier design, both speaker terminals are hot. Okay, so it's a balanced output. You can't break the terminals. If you go to plug this thing in and then turning the amp on and off, if there's charges in the capacitors, it says, wait at least one minute for capacitors to discharge before removing connections. I mean, unless you're an electrical engineer, you wouldn't know that right off the top. That's why you have to RTFM people. Yes, there you go. True Voice of Reasons got it. Okay, right. The F was for fudge. Yes, RTFM. I'm going to say it out loud for all the people in the back that aren't paying attention. And the 23 people watching right now that might have heard about Aaron's Audio Corner and Tecton and Jay's Audio Lab talking about negative reviews and then Audioholics covered it today and Youthman covered it yesterday. People have to read the fucking manual to understand what is needed for a product to perform correctly. Okay? Do we understand? Read the literature that is included with a product. You have to speak accurately about a product in order for something online or a, pro a production, or a review, or a report, or a say-so, or an opinion to actually matter. If you don't follow the instructions of the, in the manufacturer straight out of the gate, then whatever you have to say is subject to review and report. If they choose to sue based on your negligence, then so be it. I'm not saying Aaron did a bad job, because he didn't. And I'm not saying that people at Tecton did a good job at trying to threaten litigation. But at the same time, we all have a responsibility, like I was talking about earlier, like reading the laws, to at least <sighs> C-Y-O-A. Does anybody know? Aaron's audio corners here, too. <laughs> what are you talking about, Joe? What literature is there saying speakers I review came with feet? I'm not saying you did a bad job, and I'm not saying it's all about your case, and I'm not saying that all reviewers are going to have the same experience. But when you get something from a manufacturer, and in Aaron's case, Aaron didn't get them from a manufacturer. It wasn't a new product. There was no way to know what was required. There was no manual. There was no instructions. There were no really 
insights and with the opportunity of the manufacturer to respond to emails and questions they could have easily said that something was missing but they didn't so then what did, that's like being what do they call that entrapment uh aaron saying nope you said me and you repeated read the manual well i'm not going to get into a fight about it because i'm trying to clarify it so it doesn't necessarily mean you and only you that meant i meant everybody else everybody else in the world like i just got this for review and talked about before that i don't want to go and use this yet because it makes me nervous because there are things in here that i have to follow and be careful about so, Aaron, man, we're not going to get into it on the middle of a live stream. We can talk at Expona face to face. Um, so, anyways, I do really stress the fact that a lot of people out there doing reviews and otherwise that get all the information possible. If it's not possible, then I don't know how you can be, you know, held responsible for not having all the uh, all the information. You know, it's it's going around now. This is a really hot topic. So, of course. No, bro, just choose your words more carefully in the future and just happen to stumble into this life and now we've got something to talk about when I see you in person. I guess so. Yeah, man, I, I am choosing my words carefully. It's about interpretation and clarity. Unless you heard the whole conversation or didn't just jump into the middle of it, maybe something was missing. It's all good. You can rewind it afterwards and we'll clarify it afterwards. Not throwing anybody under the bus, but yeah, it's about... So one thing that I'm going to say is like, sure, if something like this wasn't included and all information wasn't presented ahead of time, when there was a timely opportunity to do so, if the company is not going to expressly say, hey, you need this, you need this, you need this, when a question was raised about it, then you can't be held responsible. It's up for the company to, as, to respond to such things. And if they don't, then what choice do you have? You can either choose not to do it. Or you could choose to do it and then just see what happens, which happens to be the case this time. You know, some things were left out and that's what happens. Uh, did I miss anything else? There's a whole, there's like seven or messages in a row. It's more of an opinion than a review. Yes, of course, it is kind of subjective, but there's more to it than that. When you want to, you know, you when you throw in a standardized test, testing method, and then it wasn't a complete a device, then of course something's gonna be off. Uh, Vel says, I'm not an audio person, so ignore all my comments. No, I won't do that. We're all here as friends anyways. So forced fed 2002 says, get into it. <laughs> no, it's not, that's not the thing to do. The things that are being said out here, and Aaron's right, choose my words carefully because it will be it will be misunderstood it is out in the public i am speaking to a large audience this can and will have some ripple effect out in the world so i fully respect that and i'm not trying to say something out of turn here it is not about one person it's not about any individual kind of company it doesn't go back to as uh, like even asr got thrown under or thrown out into the discussion with youth man the other day and i didn't watch jeans video on audioholics today but i saw that it said something about litigation and then it folds back into that jay's audio lab like i'm calling everybody's name sure and i'm going to defend my position no matter what uh, the idea of like no negative reviews from shows and then jay retracted that saying everybody that contacted him from audio shows and said that no indeed we have the freedom to speak our mind and i said to jay in his comments i said well jay whoever told you that we couldn't be negative who was it? Where did that idea even come from? Because it blew up on his channel. And then everybody talked about his channel for a while. Like that we can't do negative reviews. But it seems like all the shows wrote back and said, well, no, like that's fine. If there's something going on in the room, like many other brands have been, sh have been talked about since then. Like Fosse Audio and uh, I know Mon Acoustics works with somebody for feedback shit audio changes their stuff um if there's any feedback from other brands a lot of them handle it with grace and they come back and they say well thanks for letting us know we're going to go back to the drawing board and handle this buckeye amplifier same thing um who else was mentioned the other day there's a bunch of other brands that handled it differently and of course every individual and every company is going to handle it differently we're all just people so sure, if my words are not careful, then I'm just I'm just talking off the top of my head. 
I have no script in front of me. This is live. And I'm not trying to put misinformation out there about anything that happened, nor am I trying to target people for something they either did right or wrong. I'm just openly discussing the, the, the issues and saying, yes, I think that everybody needs to be careful, manufacturer and reviewer alike, myself included. If I say some shit today that I shove my feet in my mouth, then I'll have to pay for that. That's part of the process. If I'm not being careful and I make a mistake, then I have the responsibility to own that mistake. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I mean, I'm out here doing it, so I accept I accept the responsibility of doing it. Don't need to make it a big thing between people because I mean, really what harm is it going to what harm is it going to bring? If it's just my opinion and we have a freedom of speech, then what are the consequences? Someone's not going to like me? That's fine. That's choice. But that's not why I'm out here saying anything. I like everybody in this business and support them all the same. We're having a live discussion. Um, Vel says, which is why I inquired, inquired about the definition of negative. Uh, seven of nine, meow. I don't even know what that is. Uh, seven of nine, don't want to miss her. Seven, who's seven of nine? <laughs> so actually, I remember she did that character from Star Trek, right? Yeah, that's, that was, that's pretty cool. Uh, also, people are allowed to make mistakes. You're not saying don't follow or trust them. People tell you you're wrong all the time, but you can't say it first. Yeah, of course. Um, actually, what time is it now? Is it 8.30? I just saw Living Live with Andy just went on live. So you know what? I'm going to get out of here and end this one short. I'll follow up with these comments later. Obviously, Exponent is going to be a very busy time. So God knows if Aaron and I are actually going to meet or talk, but I hope that it goes over smooth considering <laughs> I'm not targeting people and trying to throw them under the bus. I'll try to screen capture these comments here before this goes missing because uh, I don't want to get anything wrong, uh, of course. Um, so I'll read this one out because yes, um, I, I'm, I've, of course, it, it sounds misaligned because I didn't say everything possible all at the same time. Um, so the one other thing here is yes, Aaron did contact to contact the manufacturer to ask uh, uh, to ask where to measure from. He told me, but then he also changed that after I completed my review, and none of this was on their websites at all. Okay, so obviously this is coming from a point of misinformation or lack of information. So I believe I said that earlier. Like well, that's the best you can do. Uh, if you don't get all the information given out ahead of time, like this, and we know that the products that were measured did not come from the manufacturer, they were not new, they were lent out, and they were loaned out, unknowing that they required a set of feet or from the manufacturer, and God knows if that makes an actual difference or not, we will find out. <laughs> but yes, I knew this. Aaron tried to ask for information, wasn't given any information, so that's what happens. Um... So exactly, we're just talking, this isn't a review. Of course, I'm just talking about things that are in the news, hi-fi news, just for the sake of talking about it. So yes, if it isn't a new product from the manufacturer, like Danny Ritchie's shit, he gets products in from people and then measures them. I say, is that responsible? Like Danny's measuring them the same kind of way, like in room with, you know, below 200 hertz cut off. And he talks about what the waveforms are look like, but... I don't see Danny getting sued for information. I mean, God knows what else is going on inside that warehouse. It's the same kind of thing. He's getting products from people in the world that are not direct from the manufacturer with a list of things that you should and shouldn't do. And there's no manual to say what's included and what's not included. So, I mean, like, really, what do we do here? Fill in the gaps, I guess. But a, a manufacturer should fucking know that. Manufacturer has a responsibility as well to acknowledge the conditions in which something was tested, how it was reviewed, what was going on in order to get those results. So instead of popping up with litigation, they could have said, well, we understand this was a loaned product with some things missing. We would like to ask these measurements be done a second time. That would be more than reasonable considering Aaron had no idea and was asked and was given opportunity and... You know, the stuff didn't come up right. So that's, it doesn't sound like that's of any fault. It could have been handled differently is what I'm saying. 
Like we're all in media. We have the opportunity to do better. And uh, I think the same thing with Jay's Audio Lab talking about no negative reviews and we're not allowed to be negative anymore because his point was to the detriment of the brand's reputation, which folds into this Tecton thing. Like you give a negative review, it goes out into the public. The public gets a perception, which is why Aaron's saying I need to be more careful with my words. He's right. What I say will have a ripple effect. That's why they call us fucking influencers. Because what we say and what we do here on the media space goes out into the world. And these opinions, which is what they are, and until people can gain some critical thinking skills, opinions are still going to be taken too seriously. You can repeat that one as many times as you want. Until people start using critical thinking skills, opinions will be taken too seriously. Uh, True Voice of Reason says, and Eric could have handled it way better than he did. Yes, Eric, the manufacturer at Tecton. I respect the guy. He's on my Facebook. I talk, I've talked to him. I like the Tecton designs, the technology. It really isn't how you handle it. Like, you fall down, you get knocked on your ass. It's how you get up that matters, right? And if I'm shoving my feet in my mouth for some reason, then I plan on handling it the best I can in a mature way at a time that's more appropriate, right? I mean, sure, I've said something here. Aaron has every right to say something here too. That's cool. Uh, I do hope it's clear, and I do hope that my follow-up on all of this makes it clear for everyone. Any one section of this without context is not going to sound right. Um... Vel says, how fragile is the reputation? Seriously, rather fragile on the company. It's weird. Well, in a way, sure, small company has a lot to lose. If it's a giant company like Massimo International, they're not going to take too much because they're a billion-dollar company. They don't have as much to lose. But the reputation of smaller companies might have, you know, it might be a little bit different. I have no idea. True voice of reason, critical critical thinking skills. You are trusting, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, the MoFi 888. Hold on. I will go back to that in a second. Got lots of stuff going on here on my phone. I did show them off earlier, and I'll go back to show them off. My friend Audio Acoustic Engineering is here. So here is the reason why I did the live today, and it kind of got snowballed, no pun intended, based on the igloo that I live in. <laughs> it got snowballed into a different conversation because of this paper that I got with an amp that I borrowed. I borrowed this from a reviewer and this piece of paper came with it. So I got the opportunity to read about it first before I'm using it. So MoFi source point eight, 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 or they will be at exponent to review, uh, listen to talk about, I'm sure they'll be in the news lots. Um, listen to my friend, Aaron, I apologize if any of this is upsetting. I know this is an ongoing case. I don't know if I have any right to talk about shit that's out there. However, like in the media space, there's three other channels that talked about it as well. Michael, our friend, talked about it at Youth Men's thing the other day, and they're live. Gene has talked about something, and I don't know what's included in that. So it's an issue. It's a hot topic thing, so I totally respect that. With everything else that's going on in life right now, I honestly and humbly don't want to add to that shit i don't that's not the point um do i have a responsibility to be accurate yeah i think i was but i don't know when or what was heard ahead of time in the conversation that happened here so hopefully the entirety of my video covers all these points before or after these certain interactions and i certainly wasn't saying that what happened was fully known ahead of time and it's of fault and that's why it happened that's not what i've said at all I'm saying if there's a manual, read it. There was no manual, so obviously it couldn't be read, so that means that's excluded. It's just, it relates in a way because I think if there was opportunity for information to be presented ahead of time, what happened wouldn't have happened. That's the point of saying read the manual if it's included. Um, if it's not, then obviously that doesn't apply. So I hope that that translates. I am not trying to... I'm not trying to burn bridges before they're built here. That's not why I'm on this channel. Anybody who's here, True Voice of Reason, Vel, Daniel, David was here from the beginning. Any of you can vouch to what my conversation was about. I'm sure that Aaron and I will talk about it at some point when is appropriate. I, I doubt this is even that important. I mean, who the fuck am I? I'm just a guy. I could easily just be ignored. It's not even really that significant. 
but I prefer that in our small community, we figure things out rather than just saying, you know, like, fuck this. You know, it's not, that's not cool. That's not what we're here for. That's not what I'm here for. I've never been in this to be like that. And I'm not trying to spin controversy just for the sake of views. That would be totally against my character. Um, so yeah. Vel saying it's your channel. You can talk about what you, uh, what, it, hold on. That slipped up there. Um, hold on. The context for that is, but so small companies get money for litigation. I got money for litigation. I don't know. Probably just a thread at your channel. You can talk about what you want. Um, yes and no. I mean, there's defamation laws and defamation laws in the U S are based on certain things. And I don't know under what conditions people can be sued for things in the U S I have no idea how that works. Again, this is another reason that goes back to an earlier conversation that talked about reading and knowing the laws and figuring out where we are, because sometimes those are important to defend yourself. So maybe that's important. I don't know. We're just talking. Um, just because they reacted doesn't mean it's wrong or right. As long as they don't forget you're not trying to be a jerk. And I know you're apologized for the person. Obviously, you're important. You were, well, you know what? Everybody's going to have their opinions and views on certain things. And I'm not looking at making enemies. So I'm just hoping that the entire message comes across. Again, like I said, you guys were here from the beginning of the conversation and from the beginning of the video. So if anything was missed and there's context missing, I hope that I can sort that out and you guys can back me up and say that, of course, I'm not trying to throw people under the bus because obviously I'm on air inside. I've been on air inside from the fucking beginning. I say his name in every other video that I make and I point people towards his channel every chance that I can get. He should know this. So in this case, in this one time, this one live conversation, I happened to bring up something about manuals and Aaron didn't have one. So I can see how it's a hot topic at this point, but I am certainly not trying to throw Aaron under a bus. If anything, he has my full support in this case because the manufacturer could have done that way different. I think we all agree on that. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here and go watch Andy. Living Live with Andy is on right now. So I'll leave you guys with that. MoFi source point. 888 will be at Expona. That was the reason I started this live 47 minutes in. I'll see you guys next time. I am going to go relax. <laughs> this ended up being way more stress than I needed. Uh, but I, you know what? That's what happens. You get on live. We're all in this community together. We're all friends. So we'll just see what we can do. So I'll see you guys later next time. And, um, yeah, that's the news. <laughs> See you next time.